Hello, in this video I'm going to be talking about the process of macroautophagy. Macroautophagy is a form of autophagy where a membrane, referred to as the phage pore, forms around a material about to be degraded before fusing with a lysosome. This material is often protein aggregates or old organelles. There are five steps in the process of macroautophagy induction, nucleation, elongation, lysosome fusion, and breakdown. I'll also touch on how PE modified LC3 is formed. In this video, I'm going to be referring to the process that occurs within mammals rather than yeast. The two processes are very similar, however, the protein names are different. Uh, step 1 in Induction. This is initiated by cellular starvation or the presence of rapamycin. These stimuli inactivate mTOR, causing the dephosphorylation of ULK1. Activated ULK1 activates ATG13 and FIP200 by phosphorylation. This builds the scaffold for the autophagic vacuole membrane. ULK1 then phosphorylates AMBRA1. Nucleation then occurs by AMBRA1 recruiting PI3 and Becklin at the ER membrane as a complex. AMBRA1 then recruits PI3 kinase, which converts PI3 to PI3 phosphate, leading to further recruitment and binding of ATG proteins, such as PE modified LC3, promoting elongation of the autophagic vacuole membrane. PE modified LC3 needs to be made to allow the membrane to begin to, elong to elongate and curve to engulf intracellular cargo. LC3 is a cytosolic protein that is proteolytically cleaved by ATG4 on induction of autophagy. This is done to expose AC terminal glycine on the protein, which produces LC3BI. LC3BI glycine is then activated by ATG7, which is the ubiquitin activating enzyme, allowing the LC3BI glycine, glycine to bind to PE. HG3 activates the lipidation of PE to LC3BI. When in complex with ATG12 and ATG5, the enzyme conjugate, so the ubiquitin ligase, um, PE is added to LC3BI by an amide bond to form LC3BII. Actions of HG12, HG5 localize LC3BII to the phage 4 at the ER, constituting the elongation of the phage 4 After elongation, PI3P and LC3BII are removed to cause the destabilization of ATG complexes on the phage 4 This mechanism for this is actually unknown. The Rab GTPases, in particular Rab7, and the multiplicization of ATG9 facilitate the tethering of the autophagosome to the cytoskeleton and transport to the lysosome. The phagosome and lysosome fuse, resulting in the formation of an autolysosome. Transient deacidification occurs as a result of the fusion of the vesicle and the lysosome due to the difference in pH between the vesicle and the lysosome. The vesicle pH is around 7.4, as this is the, uh, the cytosolic pH, and the lysosome pH is around 4.5. The reacidification causes caused by the ATPase causes the breakdown of the material in the autophage zone. The autophagic vacuole membrane is degraded by lysosome lipases, predominantly into fatty acids, and then this is released into the cytosol. All ATGs are recycled except for ATG9 and 19, which remain in the autophagic vacuole, which will then be destroyed. Cathepsin enzymes, which are also known as aspartyl proteases, degrade the protein cargo to release predominantly amino acids back into the cytosol. This process is active and requires transporters due to the charge of these molecules. 